last year at this regatta we we weren't doing as well as we expected and we sat down with Jonathan McKee and he said the things to look at to know whether or not the Olympic campaign's going well is whether or not you're improving and you're having fun. And if you're doing those things, it's worthwhile. I'm Thomas Barrows, and Joe Morris and I qualified for the Olympics in February after the 49er Worlds in Clearwater, Florida. A hard part about 49er sailing is they do the Gold Fleet cutoff at the top 25. And for so many events in a row for 2014, we were a few points away. At the Europeans, we were having a really good event. We are sitting in the top 25 on the last day. And they sent us out at 6 p.m. <laughs> you know, we had a good first race. The wind was almost non-existent. And they did a second race for us that day. And we ended up having a bad race. and finishing two points out of qualifying for Gold Fleet. And in the previous year, we were in Gold Fleet and three teams got redressed for hitting rocks and we got bumped out overnight. So the second year in a row being in Gold Fleet and then not, it's really hard to sort of feel like you're making progress but not making that jump to let alone just be in the top 25. The down period that I can remember that sticks out in our mind was actually right here in that parking lot in Palma. It was our, our second time in Europe as a team, but our, our first real long stint. And we really had to basically scrap every penny together to get here. And, um, you know, we got off the water one day after training and we go into the parking lot and our little Fiat 500 that we had rented for $3 a day or something had been broken into, the window was smashed, my backpack was stolen, Thomas had some gear stolen, all of our videos from our training at home were gone, and at that point it was just sort of like, how were we going to fight this uphill battle for another two and a half years? We just sort of rallied around each other and, you know, we're good teammates to each other and got through it, and that, those are the experiences that make, uh, make you want to get up every day and win the trials and go try and win an Olympic medal. And you know, we certainly had our high moments, you know, when you'd have a good race, it would feel amazing. After having a bunch of bad ones, if you have one good one, it, the satisfaction's pretty high from that, so. Making sure that you're having fun. Uh, you know, I, I'd say fun is tied with the most important thing, which is getting better. Uh, you know, you're not gonna get much better if you're not enjoying what you're doing, but at the same time, there are times that you need to suffer a little bit and it's not always going to be that much fun. But, you know, it's those hours that you put in that make the difference in the end of a four-year campaign. And I also think that, you know, one of the things that keeps you going in, in the hard times is knowing that you have people that support you and that they're with you on this journey just as much as your coach or anyone from, you know, the U.S. sailing team. It, it, the people at home that have donated to the campaign, your sponsors, even people that just send you an email saying, hey, good luck, like, I wish I could be there with you. Um, you're, you're doing it for them just as much as yourself. Over the last uh, three or four years, there were a lot of 49er teams that were sort of on the same level, vying for the same spot. And, um, you know, with, with Charlie McKee at the wheel, the US sailing team, and the culture that he came from uh, in the early days of the 49er in the US, with a really strong US contingent basically all training together for a medal. There was a big push to try and make that happen again. And, um, you know, for a while the team was sailing together and I think it just became really difficult because so many people were sort of not used to that sort of program and um, everyone was so close. So, you know, unfortunately it didn't really evolve, but I think we got one step closer to making that happen in the U.S. Um, and now with our sort of partnership with Judge and Hans, it's a good springboard um, for not only our teams, but younger teams to kind of understand how working together can be a huge asset. You know, every day we see teams from Germany, Great Britain, France all launch together and work as a unit for a common goal. And, you know, that's what we're hoping will happen. And with Judge and Hans, we are changing the culture in the U.S. 
you know, every everything is shared and we hope both teams get better as well as the U.S. 49er program in general. We really hope that more Americans will be training together in the future and not just having more Americans in the top 25, but a lot of American boats in the medal races.